Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And this, of course, is the model 1300 Crossman 22 caliber pneumatic air pistol. And a lot of us have these. And if you let them sit around for a while, what happens is when you try and pump it up, the air doesn't get compressed into the, into the chamber. You get air leaking as when you go like this, you don't hear any air being compressed. And that's because there's a little gasket here. And if you go ahead and put a little bit of three in one oil on that gasket, right there, that gasket, right where my, the middle of my finger is, you put a little oil on that and it'll start compressing real well, like brand new, you see? Anyway, that's not the reason for this video. This video is all about plinking. That happy sound is the sound of plinking. Have you ever wondered where the term plinking came from? Well, if you look it up, you'll find that most of the time the explanation is we don't know where the term came from. No one knows where the term started, where, how it happened, or where it happened, or when it happened. Nobody knows for sure. It just seems like plinking, the word term plinking, just materialized out of nowhere and is readily accepted today. In fact, the word plinking can be found in some dictionaries today. Not all, but some. But we know what plinking is. It was that happy sound. So you look at Webster's there and there is plink. The second definition. To shoot at tin cans or similar targets. What plinking is, is informal target practice in any safe outdoor location using any kind of target that might come at hand. And that often is the tin can though. And the sound of that impact is where the term plinking came from. That's what the original thought is. It's the sound of the tin can being hit by a bullet. Well, one thing we know is that plinking is distinctly American. It probably first came onto the scene back east because that's where all the people were in the earlier days of this country. And the term plinking is now global but it started in the United States. Let's look at plinking. You see, plinking at tin cans is so popular that I even have paper targets of tin cans. When I take new shooters to the range, I tell them, pretend that's a tin can, and you're just trying to knock it over and just hit the tin can anywhere. That's plinking. So is it possible that if we study about tin cans, we can actually figure out when the term plinking came into being. It turns out that the tin can was invented in England in the London area because the Royal Navy needed ways to package food for their ships because the British Empire was so huge. And this was back in the 1800s when the tin can was invented in England. Well that caught on in the American Can Company was the first company that produced tin cans for the United States and that was in New York. And that company became so big, it became one of the big contractors for the U.S. military. And it became one of the Dow Jones Industrial Average Stocks. And today that company has turned into City. So the American Can Company was founded in 1901 in New York. Well, does that mean the term plinking started right around 1901? And the answer is probably not. So what kind of clue do we have that the term plinking came later than 1901? After all, target shooting and shooting galleries in amusement parks was a big deal back in the east of the United States back at that time with the 22 long rifle. And of course shooting at tin cans would have been very popular. 
in an informal setting. But the term plinking probably didn't come along till later. Let's look so at that. To get an inference on this, let's look at this book, Complete Guide to Hand Loading by Phil B. Sharp. And this book was published in 1937. By the way, Paul, if you're out there, thanks again for this great book. So in this book, on page 82, right there at top center of the screen, it says, on that day, the pair of us sallied forth from the city to do our customary plinking. Now, 1937. Notice the word plinking is in quotations, as if that term was not completely accepted back in 1937. Now today, you wouldn't see quotation marks around the word plinking because it's readily accepted. We all know what plinking is, and we all accept what plinking is. But if you put it around quotation marks, it means in those days, that wasn't fully accepted. So can we deduce that the word plinking, the term plinking, first started back, say, maybe three years before 1937, say around 1934, 1933? And that happens to be during the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression and all that kind of thing was going on. So and plinking so was somewhat of a distraction from the economic crises and all the uh, downturns that people were facing back in those days. So plinking was an excellent way to kind of take the edge off of things. To relax and take the mind off of the economic troubles of the country. So you see the tin can was created in the United States in 1901. And it took 30 some odd years in a depression to bring about the term plinking. And we have it today. Now, of course, this is all conjecture, but it, it sure gets... looks like we can make a case for somewhere around the early 1930s for the term plinking to come in. So you see the shooting is inherently tied into the fabric of the history of the United States of America. You can't separate it, no matter how much you would want to. So shooting is right there, and not only is shooting right there, in those days, this country was a nation of riflemen, and it's a good thing, too. But at any rate, plinking also parallels the shooting, and that parallels the history of the country. So plinking is inherent in the history of the United States of America also, by inference. Now, if any of you out there have any more clues as to where plinking came from, we can sure fill in the spaces because I don't know about you, but I don't accept it that we just don't know when the, the term plinking came in. We can do a better job and somehow figure out where plinking came from. Get an idea of it anyway. So that's the idea of this video. If you so, do a search on plinking on YouTube, you'll see a lot of plinking being done, but not much about the history of plinking as it parallels to the history of the shooting in the United States and the history of the United States. Bye for now.